What's going on dudes? Kamari here. And right now we're going to be doing a another video of a mod. Yes. Uh so this mod that we're going to be doing is a anime mod. It's from the popular anime named Sword Art Online. And basically all it does is bring in some of the items from the anime into Minecraft. I personally have never watched it. I have some friends who have and they like it. Apparently it's a very good anime. So I decided to do it just for the fact that there's a big fan base around it and hopefully they get to see this video. And uh, yeah. So let's get into it. First thing I'm going to be doing is how to install the mod. So first thing you got to do, you're going to go to not control panel. You're actually going to go to percent app data percent by holding down the windows key and typing in or pressing R and then typing in percent app data percent. So you're going to take your dot Minecraft and you're just going to delete it. Now you have a clean install. Unless though you have forge, then you don't need to delete it. But for the people who don't, I would recommend just starting off with brand new launcher. So you're going to log in with your uh, username or email and your password, of course. And wait for it to sign you in. And once it's done doing that, you got to click play and uh, let it download everything. Basically, you're just installing Forge. Everyone should know how to do it by now. It's not hard. But just for the fact that people also don't know how to install Forge, I always do it in my videos, and that's what you're seeing now. So, yep. I'm going to go click play, and I'm going to check on my Audacity. So, yeah, I'm using a new mic. If you notice a different tone or sound quality in my voice, uh, that's why. I am using the Blue Yeti uh, microphone with a tripod, pop filter, and shock mount. But yeah, after that's done, you just gotta quit your game, go to your Minecraft Forge, right click it, open with Java. Once you've done that, you're gonna click install client, and you're just gonna let it install the client. All right, so now that it's done doing that, you can take your forge and put it wherever you want to. And now what you do is you're going to start up your Minecraft again. You're going to go to your forge profile and just click play. You can edit the forge thing to whatever you want. I'm going to name it YouTube. Click save profile, click play, and just wait. Now, I did not click on the profile, actually, so let me do that again. So, back to for, or Minecraft. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. When you rename your profile, you'll actually got to click it again and click it. But yeah, after that, you're just going to open up the Forge profile and see if it loads right. And if it does, then you're set to go for part two. Now, part two. You're going to go to your percent app data percent again. Go to dot minecraft and you'll have a folder called mods. You're just gonna drag in the mod in there, and I'm gonna drag in a save, which is my sword on online save, and that's about it. So that's how you install the mod. I hope you guys enjoyed the first part, and I'll meet you back on Minecraft. Thank you guys for watching, and peace. Hey guys, welcome back, and let's go into my sword on online. Uh world and let's get on with this review so with this mod it is for uh, 1.6.4 as you can see right there uh we have a couple items that it adds with it and i'll be showing you how to you know get each item and how to make it now i didn't get to i didn't get to like everything because some of them the recipe list didn't show them so, the ones that I got is what I know. So, of course, how to get the crystallite ignit. I didn't put these in the other chests, but you'd obviously gotta break the ore, which you can find spawned in any cave or whatsoever. And yeah, so let's get on with the, the uh, yeah, thing. Let me change the time. 
day. Uh, I don't have permission. I'll screw you too. I don't care. I'll do it at night. I'm a boss. So, so the first item we're going to go to is the Demonic Gram Sword. It does have a 23 plus attack damage. And how to make it is with the Red Handle, 2 Steel Ignit, and 4 Gold Ignit. And ignore that. And the uh, next item is the Guilty Thorn with Smite 3, and it has 23 attack damage. And it's from the Red Handle, 2 Steel Ignit, 2 Iron Ignit, and 2 Cactus. So I'll show you what each of them look like when you hold them in your hand. And yeah. Yep, that's uh, that one. And here's the other one. Okay. Shut up. There we go. My anti malware bites won't quit spamming me. Okay, so the next item is the Karakurinia. Don't know how to say that, but how to make it is with the dark handle, the iron an iron ignit, and another iron ignit. And these spots in the uh, chest are supposed to like represent a crafting table, so this is how you would uh, place it. One in the bottom right, one in the middle, and one in the top right. That's how you get the Kara. The second item would be the annual blade with fire aspect 1. And it's made by one dark handle, a black iron ignit, and an iron ignit. So this is what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it. Let me uh, turn on my brightness all the way up for you. So yeah, there you go. There's the annual blade. Alright, next one. So this is how you make the black worm pants. And how to make it is with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 charred leather and one iron unit. And this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. I'm going to leave this on for now. And the other item is just a bread roll, which is a food item, which you got to make with four wheats in the bottom right square. And I guess I'll hold it out. Yeah, pretty cool. The next item we are going to be looking at is the dark handle, and it's easy to make. You're just going to have three ir or obsidian in a diagonal line, just like this, and that's how you make it. And the other item is the dark reps repulsor, repulsor with sharpness three, with thirty attack damage. One of my favorite swords, and it's made by a crystallite handle. A crystal ignit and a diamond. So here's the dark handle. And here is the repulsor. Alright. Next item is the Lambit Light, another one of my favorites with looting too. It's made by the Aquamarine handle, diamond, and a steel ignit. The other item is the Tyrant Dragon, which is made by one Steel Ignit, one Gold Ignit, and one Steel Ignit. So here's the Lamb Bent Light and the Tyrant Dragon. Same sword, actually, just different textures. Pretty cool. The next item is the Knight Sword with Knockback 1. With 16 attack damage, made by one stick, two steel ignit, with four iron ignit. And the other one is the black worm boots, which is made by charred leather, four of them, and two iron ignit. So let's put that on, and this is what it looks like. Pretty sweet. And here is the sword. Looks like a, a dagger to me, but eh, it's alright. It's pretty cool. The other item is the aquamarine handle, made by three diamond in a diagonal line, and uh, a red handle, made by two sticks and a cactus in a diagonal line. So I'll hold them out for you. Okay. The other item is the... I'm going to go with Elu Sidatter. I, I cannot pronounce that, but it is made by a dark handle and two black iron ingots, and the other one is the black iron greatsword with knockback two, with dark handle and four dark black iron ingots, 
and they both look like this. Pretty cool. I like them. The next item is the Liberator with Sharpness 2, or Sharpness 3, my bad. And it's made by one Dark Candle, one Steel Ignit, and one Iron Ignit. And the other item is the Black Worm Coat, made by 7, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes, 7. Charred leather and a gold ignit in the middle. And this is what it looks like when I stick it on. It looks pretty badass. And the Liberator. Pretty cool sword. Pretty strong sword, too. Other item is the Bottle O Cream. Made by a glass bottle, milk, and a sugar. And the other one is the Crystallite Handle. Made by a diamond and two Crystallite Ignit. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Alright. And of course, the last item is bread roll with cream. How to make it? You stick a bread roll under a bottle of cream. And you get the bread roll of cream. Pretty cool. And now, the final item. Our final three, but they are in furnaces, that's how you make them, is coal or anything to burn the material, and iron will make steel ignit. Coal or anything that burns items again with steel ignit will make black iron ignit. And anything that can burn leather can, whatever, make charred leather. And these are the three main materials other than iron and diamond to make all the items in the game. And in the game, at least in the mod. So, that is the Holt mod review and tutorial over the Sword Art Online mod. I will probably end up watching it one of these days. I, I really doesn't seem like my type of anime, but I know a lot of you good people actually like the anime, so I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please, please click the like button. Subscribe if you're new. It will mean a lot to me. You don't gotta favorite it. I really don't care about favorites. It's just, if you do, you do, then it's, it's cool. Um, and yeah, all the links are in the description below with, uh, the the uh, maker of the mod, which I will most likely put his name somewhere on the screen. And yeah, so thank you for the mod maker for making the mod, and thank you guys for watching. This is Kamari, and I'm out. Peace!